Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Stellaris Console Edition, the redo. Alrighty, when we left off, uh, we were still trying to expand a little bit. We finally found out that planet is uh, usable for expansion. It's not ideal, but it is usable. So it is, you know, it is what it is. Uh, considering Ocelus is apparently just straight fucked, that makes it a problem for that, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, Maradetta is good enough. We'll work with what we got. So we'll expand there eventually, but for now, we're just going to wait until we get more into the expansion tradition before we start spreading out, especially since we don't have any dire need to as of yet. We have our science ships all set out and ready to go. And find new places, new systems, and new worlds. Hopefully. Alrighty. Population wise, eh, we're doing okay. Doing Construction okay. complete. Uh, let's do some encouraging of planetary growth for now. Huh. The Racket Industrial Enterprise. Interesting. Felon, we greet you. We are operators of Racket Industrial Enterprise and a member of the Caravan... <laughs> Caravan, sorry. Uh, fuck it. I'm, I'm just going to go with CCC with that fucking thing. Because that is too much of a fucking mouthful. <laughs> a member of the CCC. We travel the stars. Our eyes catch all that glows. We gather and we trade. We pass through your space in peace, only to buy, to sell. Kisk. I'm assuming that's a uh, weird, goofy, uh, accented sort of shenanigans with uh, his people, I'm assuming. I'm also assuming it's a he, so their people. There we go, better. Um, we will offer you good deals, many things. We will speak again before we leave. Should you call us, the CCC will answer. Greetings. Do you like alloys? Kisk. Do you like metals and gases? Hard workers? Precious minerals? Yes, we thought you might. What can you offer? Hmm. You have noticed your mining station in orbit of Ilex B. It extracts energy, does it not? We can assist. We can grant you a satellite. One fitted with a clever technology. We call it the Racket Energy Extractor. It will remain in orbit and increase the amount of energy credits you can obtain from Ilex B's surface. Now, for the cost. We have run afoul of some legalities. Minor details, very trivial. But we would require some witness, some support. An upstanding face to back our cause. Would you be strong? And what would your strong and wise nation vouch for us? Poor, trustworthy traders, very innocent, whose only mistake was a distraction of the mind, a mere oversight that led to the transgression of some pesky ksk legislature. I mean... <laughs> that is a very healthy addition to Elix B. And all it requires is 70 influence? I don't see why not. Let's go ahead and accept this deal. A pleasure, a joy, to deal with the Empire of Felinae. We will visit again. Good to hear. Although it's probably when they need something. System that, reconnaissance you know, completed. System reconnaissance us. completed. But, nonetheless, we continue on. Um, let's make another city. Yeah, we should be fine with that. We should be fine with that. Absolutely. This one's done, and this one's done. Okay. Construction complete. Fair enough. Whoops, didn't mean to do that one. Oopsie doodle. I'm closing that. It's that one I need to close. In fact, I don't really need the planet open either. Okay. 
what were you doing? You were making that a star base so you can work on the research station. And then we'll move farther on from here. And then, oops, I hit the wrong button to do that. Build a star base there. And then we'll take that spot and then this entire place will be ours to later explore and uh, exploit. Booyah. That way we cut off the main chokehold point. Anomaly found. Optical scans indicate that the surface of Estinda 3 is unusually verdant in places. Hmm. Usually verdant, you say? We'll have to see how verdant. And if it's anything like the other planet that uh, we no longer can use as a settling system site, reconnaissance completed, as a colony, as it were. Hmm. I'm noticing now I might need a, another construction ship. Because eventually I'll need to expand in the other direction and I won't be able to make this one swing Science back as quickly. Science reports a new breakthrough. Whoa. Have you now? You've run into space in me, but... Oh boy. Oh boy. Right there, huh? Well, should be doable. Uh, they're already dealing with this anomaly. It's almost done, actually. Damn. And, hey, fusion missiles is complete. Beautiful. So, what shall we do next? Mm, well, it is the lowest. And it is useful. Building up Corvettes quicker and more efficiently, so it costs less. Costs less. There we go. That's the fucking word I wanted to say. Alright, there we go. We'll go with that. But I forgot to read the thing. Establishing new standards for the modeling and construction of Corvettes greatly improves the efficiency of the production pipeline. Well, here's hoping that's the case. Before they leave, though... 1K! Days! 1K. 1K. Jesus. Construction complete. Good. Beautiful. Ancient Automata. One of the major areas of extreme verdancy on Astinda 3 is centered on an overgrown alien structure. Initially thought ruined, closer observations by the ISS Embassy reveal that the building has mostly survived the crushing embrace of the planet's flora. A special project has been issued to find a way into the structure. Issue special project reclaimed by nature. New sit rep. And... Stinda 3 is actually a habitable planet. It's an ocean world, but a habitable planet. First things first. Is it going? Okay. It was doing that whole thing. Alright. Um, we'll have it work on that. And then continue its path this way and then go here that sounds good okay perfect system reconnaissance completed Ooh. Inez Renard has the expertise for statecraft interesting that that's the upgrade they get okay preliminary scans of QH 44 D1 indicate that a heavily armed vessel is in orbit of the asteroid. It would be wise to proceed with caution. Damn right it would be! It's heavily armed? What the fuck? 
Well, here's hoping it's nothing too serious. We're not running into a fucking Mass Effect 2 situation where we get destroyed by a big ass laser. Just, there's Special no defense against complete. Oh. Now has the expertise industry trait. The overgrown structure, an alien mineral processing plant, on Astinda 3 was, prior to its abandonment in the distant past, mostly automated. Husks of artificial workers litter the floor. Their organic components, for their bodies were largely of a biological nature, held upright by polymer endoskeletons, long since rotted away. Ugh. Ugh. Ghastly. Ugh. Science officer Fritz Brinkman speculates that it is the organic remains of these automatons that, soon liquefied and drained into the ground, provided an intense boost to soil nutrition and allowed the native flora to grow both abundant and resilient. The plant can be reactivated, but the automatons, fascinating as they may be to Fritz Brinkman, I wonder why, will never walk its halls again. Understood. Well, should we settle the planet? That is definitely an option. Construction complete. Oh. Nifri's Pride. The armed vessel discovered in orbit of QH-44D1 is an abandoned military spacecraft called Nefri's Pride. Its light frame and evasion hardware suggest it was built for long-distance patrol missions, but it has since been retrofitted into a long-range stealth bomber. Records of the ship's comms reveal it was hijacked by a rebel guerrilla on its way to perform a strike against a secret complex called the Zvan Labs said to hold a weapon so powerful it could win them the war when they were shot down. We have extracted the ship's destination from its navigational drive. We have no need of such a weapon or send a science crew to the lab. I personally think we might have need of such a weapon. New sit rep. <laughs> All right, so they're not doing anything. Let's have them build mining stations and then that. And then move to here to finish that off. Uh oh. I forgot about the science ship after they got into that little tiff with that. Why did they skip this one? Go back to that and then finish this one off. Then I'll decide your movements from there. In fact, actually, I've already made that decision for you. We shall move up here, since that way is going to be blocked off should we go this route. Then we can explore it at our leisure. Mwahaha! Okay, then there, then there, then here, then here. Yes, that is beautiful. All right. Ah, uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, I like that path. Okay, where was Zvan Labs? We've located the Zvan Labs, a hidden gathering of pyramidic structures built from an unknown material, submerged under layers of sand and dust. We'll have to excavate the facilities before we can explore them, but if the rebels were correct in their assumptions, the weapons within will be worth their while. Alrighty. Well, where is it? Ow! Oh! It's on Ocelus. On Ocelus in B1R937. Interesting. Hmm. Before you do that, I have need of you there. Then you come back here. Then you go here. And then up this route. Once again, I have to plot this out again. <laughs> but it's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. It's all fine. Beautiful. 
Gaston Policia. System reconnaissance completed. I don't care if I'm incorrect in how I'm pronouncing it. That's how I'm pronouncing it. <laughs> it's my species and my game. Alright. Um, hmm. What could I have him do? Let's go and do that one. Why not? Anomaly found. Ooh. A class 12 asteroid orbits this planet. The small planetoid's orbit appears far too stable for its presence to be a natural occurrence. Well, look into it, Gaston. You must get to the bottom of this. Ooh, bumped up to 10. What the fuck did I bump up to 10? Ooh, Toad Asteroid. Ah, that would explain why it was into an orbit. For some reason, someone has towed an asteroid into a stable orbit around Asland 3. The massive engine sections and braking thrusters can still be found on the surface, although they have long since been rendered inoperable. Whoever did this also mined the asteroid for minerals, but these operations were seemingly abandoned shortly after they begun. Interesting. Alrighty then. We continue on. System uh, reconnaissance completed. Science division reports a new breakthrough. Do you now? Well, I might want to investigate that. Hey, they completed the automated exploration protocols. Helps with the survey speed. Fuck yeah. Any way we can up that is good for me. Woo! I see plasma throwers. I'm happy. But let's go with some of the cheaper options, which would be UV lasers. Ultraviolet lasers are an updated and more powerful version of their blue predecessors. Accurate and destructive, these weapons are capable of inflicting great damage. Hells yeah. Let's go for it. Why not? Plasma throwers we can get later. Let's upgrade the stuff we have right now. So that way they're more effective. And then we'll go for the cool shit later. When it's cheaper. <laughs> Alright, so far so good. Purchase caravan coins. Oh yeah, they cost a fuck ton. Okay, yeah, no, no. Let's not, let's not do that yet. Let's not do that yet. It's not worth the time. Nor the money. Especially since I don't have a lot of money. At least not yet. Anomaly found. A cursory scan of the planet's surface. Sorry. <laughs> I just took a drink, so my mouth was starting to uh, wet up a little bit. Mm. With spittle, <laughs> in case you were curious, which you probably weren't. A curious, uh, rather cursory scan of the planet's surface reveals a weak signal pulsing into the darkness of space. It's routine. Okay, look into it. Tell me what you find. Helps if I also fast. If I actually let time pass, that'd be nice. Hmm. Interesting. Alright. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Ground defense planning. There we go. System reconnaissance Beautiful. completed. Whoops. Almost let that progress too far. Um... Hmm, what should I go for next? Adaptive bureaucracy, hydroponics farming is absolutely not worth the time or aggravation to go after, so we're not going to try. Um, gene clinics would be nice, but that also consumes consumer goods at a rate I do not need it to be going at. Um... 
go with adaptive bureaucracy. The progress we make calls for a new, nimbler form of administration that may aid rather than hinder us in our pursuits. Beautiful. And that's been... Oh. In limbo. The signal originates from the remains of an antenna-like structure. Exploratory probes were dispatched from the ISS Arbiter to the surface to investigate the matter more closely. What science officer Inez Renard found was a cavernous vault that, while easily pried open, was evidently the last safe house and refuge of some long-dead race of aliens. While reasonably technologically advanced, it seems they never reached for the stars and perished to some planet-wide natural disaster. The vault is immense, housing thousands upon thousands of black boxes that the ISS Arbiter have determined to be data storage devices. A special project has been prepared to decode their contents. Alrighty then. New sit rep. Cool. I'm kind of curious as to what they are. Where are you? You are here. Oh, we hadn't gone much further than that. Okay. Um... Sure. Oopsie, that's not the one I wanted to do. That looks like it's going to trail off into its own little path here. That's kind of cool. I kind of want to see how that goes. But for now, we shall continue in our pathing to discover if there's anything next to us that I should be worried about. Or not. Hopefully not. Because I System don't want to keep dealing with completed. that. Okay, you... In limbo. Yep. I wanted you to deal with that. For sure. Alright. So far, so good. Make him go around there. And there we go. And apparently it leads also to there. So, that shall be the pathing. Alright, and we can upgrade the ship. The ship's... Uh, see how much farther that upgrades their power. Rather, firepower, as Construction it Construction complete. Oh. Ba -da -da -ba. Sensors pick up unexpected activity from an isolated point on Ition 2's frozen surface. Interesting. That's fully surveyed. Fair enough. You're done there? Well then, build mining stations and research stations. I'm not paying you to sit around. Okay. I don't know what that came from. Boredom? Craziness? I don't know. Boredom with my current uh, predicament in life. That's basically what I meant. Not this game, because this game is actually really fucking fun. Alright, uh, continuing on this way. That should work. Um, Imperial Strike Force has been fully upgraded. Only what? <laughs> Only went to... 563, are you kidding me? Ah, I was hoping for a bigger upgrade in power. Okay. Okay, it's construction is completed. They finished with Ition system. And then they're gonna finish off with the anomaly. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Well then, onward we go. Special project complete. Ah. Huh. The vault is a tomb for hopeful immortals. Science officer Inez Renard asserts that the huge blocks of ternary code found in the data banks are neural images, digitized brain scans. Doubtlessly, the aliens of Athos II considered this to be their only shot at any kind of survival following whatever calamity befell their planet. 
they did not have the means to resurrect themselves, but banked on the impossibly small hope that, eventually, someone else would have those means. I could just let them lie and gain a bunch of at, uh, engineering research, or get slightly less engineering research, but download their neural patterns for safekeeping anyway. Hmm. Let's do that. It's going to be slightly less, but just in case we come across someone who can bring them back, we might as well have them on our person. Oh. We have encountered some form of alien vessels in the Avalon system. These strange aliens... objects... rather, have been flagged as Avalon until we can learn more about them. We should, we should proceed with caution. Fair enough, but if that marker means anything, I think I know what it is. It is very powerful, though. I'll give him that. I can't really see the object that much in the preview. About here. Oh! It is a space station of sorts. Okay. Well, in that case, let us investigate. It should take only eight months, so why not? Adaptive bureaucracy can wait. We have aliens to know of what they're doing. That made more sense in my head. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Okay. Salty. Adds to happiness. That's always something. I mean, usually when you hear of salt, you don't think of happy. You think of people destroying their controllers. But that's a different context entirely. Science ship ISS Emissary came up short with regards to its original mission of investigating possible activity on the frozen surface of Ichion 2. There is seemingly nothing of note but ice and rock. However, Science Officer Fritz Brinkman, a self-proclaimed gourmet chef and history buff, a uh, weird combo of coincidences, claims to have made an important discovery, a chemical compound found in the surface ice layers in several regions of Ichion 2, is allegedly, supposedly, closely related to Felinian stellar salt, an ingredient integral to many traditional Felinian dishes and thought extinct on Felin Day. It has been long speculated that Felinian stellar salt was never native to our homeworld, but was brought to the surface by some meteorite impacts in the dis distant past. The science officer's discovery on Ichion 2 lends some credence to this theory. Though Fritz Brinkman leans heavily on properties described in ancient cookbooks predating modern chemistry to, prov to prove the saline connection. Whether the salt, analyzed and synthesized, actually tastes like the Felinian stellar salt of old is ultimately of little consequence. Just the idea of traditional foods now possessing more historically accurate flavor profiles is bound to stimulate both the Felinian economy and palate. Savory. <laughs> oh, that's fun. That's a lot of fun. Right there. Construction complete. What the what? Is it complete now? Oh, hey. Alrighty. There we go. Get some more things going. And we might as well move them over to deal with this one, too. Uh-oh. Taking evasive action. Uh-oh. Double uh-oh, but main uh-oh was we were running out of influence. The double uh-oh was apparently we are in combat. Oh, no. Let's see what is going on here. Oh, you're just spacing me, but... Very small amount of space amoebas. Interesting. Okay. Well, you should be easily taken care of. 
no problems there. At least there shouldn't be. All right. System reconnaissance completed. Send the emissary over here. Uh, this way. There we go. And we'll have them go this way around, I guess. And then we'll have them loop back. Okay, that works. And the Avalam system is... Yep. That ain't too bad. Not great, but not too bad. Is it almost done? Almost done. One month. Should be done at the end of this one. Special project complete. After successfully translating their language, we have established communications with the independent space station of the Artisan Troop. Oh! You have a face on you. <laughs> a visitor! This is a joyous occasion indeed. Oh, forgive my manners. I believe introductions are in order. We are the Artisan Troop. Our members have dedicated their lives to the pursuit of art, music, culture, and all the other things which makes existent, existence bearable to a sapient being. Please, if you would like to share in the wonder of our creations, do not hesitate to contact us. Interesting. Alrighty. I'm having fun with the voices, just FYI. I'm not going to stop. <laughs> so, if you think I'm going to stop, Special project wrong. complete. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Invisible death. That is a hell of a way to start that. Our scientists have returned from the Zvan Labs unscathed with footage collected from the facility's security cameras. It shows lab scientists bound and gagged as guerrilla <laughs> guerrilla soldiers pry open the weapon strong box. But to their dismay, the box is empty. Only minutes later, the rebels can be seen writhing on the floor in intense agony, dark patches swelling across their bodies. Then the skin rips and a gray, unidentifiable matter spills out. Jesus. Ugh. Fuck. The matter continues to expand, swirling hypnotically all around them, until one of the scientists activates the emergency system. Sprinklers douse the room in liquid, and an electrical surge passes through it, executing all living things. Here the footage ends. Our crew can confirm that the strongbox was indeed empty. Well, as long as you ain't dying from nothing, that's probably a good thing. Our excursion into the Zvan Labs has progressed our engineering research. Ooh, Super Solid Metals has gained 30% after we also gained the option. Spooky. Alrighty. Well, could have been worse, I guess. Could have been far worse. Abandoned Gateway An ancient subspace gateway has been located near Milk Miklor's rather Miklor's vortex. It appears to have been built entirely by microscopic microscopic blah, 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 blah. all the good talking I had earlier and it's just gone. Microscopic nanites of an unknown design. This particular gateway shows signs of having been altered at some point after its initial construction. Its connections to the rest of the network have been severed. Instead, the only valid destination is an uncharted group of stars just beyond our galaxy that has been designated the L Cluster by our astronomers. Although the gateway emits a faint power signature, it has been deliberately knocked, locked into some kind of maintenance loop that prevents its activation. Until we find some way of aborting this process, the L cluster will remain beyond our reach. Intriguing. New sitrep. New sitrep indeed. The L cluster. We have learned of a mysterious star cluster somewhere just beyond the periphery of our galaxy. It can only be accessed through L gates, 
artificial subspace portals found in certain systems. These gateways have been deliberately disabled by someone, and for now we lack the necessary insight into the subspace mechanics that govern their use to lift the lockdown. Now, I've ran into these before, in my own files. Two things could happen if we try to activate it, when we can eventually activate it. It'll take a while before we can. Either a benign event will occur where almost nothing of real consequence happens and um, it just leaves some mild thing in our galaxy. Or it opens up into a shitstorm where it then tries to start killing everything. Those are the two things I have encountered thus far when trying to open the L gates. I don't want to be the one to pull the trigger on that. Because it could go very badly. But what would be going on with it is very much worth it. So I kind of want to go for it. I definitely will be making sure I take that fucking gate. No doubt about that. But beyond that, I don't know. I don't know. About opening the gate? Who can say? All I know for sure is I will not be doing it anytime soon. System reconnaissance completed. Ooh. Interesting. During its survey of Miklor's Vortex, the ISS Emissary discovered a previously unknown strategic resource dubbed Dark Matter. This exotic substance has many properties that seemingly defy several natural laws. It could potentially revolutionize the sciences. While we do not yet possess the means to extract this resource, we should seriously consider establishing control over the system for future exploitation. So now I have two reasons to go after that. Anomaly found. Up and okay. The debris field, which CR9947 is part of, roils and swirls under the influence of unknown fortune, forces. Fortunes. Blah, blah, blah. Let's look into that. In the meantime, I have no idea what he's doing. Oh, yeah, he's going to build the starbase there. Okay. Cool. Why do I keep saying he? They don't have... They're not being controlled by him. An idiot. All right. All right. They shall go take care of that. Everything should System be good System reconnaissance me. completed. Hmm. By chance, we stumbled upon a faint alien signal during the survey of this planet. The source appears to be a small object in orbit. The signal contains no message. Could it be a distressed sponder? Transponder, rather? Hmm. It's a worthy question. Let's find out. There you go. They are heading over there in a few days. Soon enough, we'll have dealt with them. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Good. Oops, that wasn't what I meant to do. Yay! The patterns are now standardized. Beautiful. Beautiful. Hmm. 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 Super solid materials. 
it is already pretty far along now. I say we do it. The production and understanding of supersolids are of immeasurable value to any and every space sage civilization. Hell yeah. And then we'll get the rest of them from after that. An abandoned life pod was detected in close orbit to Havenshire 5. It is covered in scorch marks, presumably from when the pod's mothership exploded, and preliminary scans suggest it was built more than 5,000 years ago. That ain't too long ago. The crew of the ISS Arbiter managed to open the pod, revealing the withered remains of a reptilian alien clad in a resplendent uniform. Clutched in one of its claws was a small picture of another individual from the same race. Possibly a mate, or a revered leader. Or both. Could be both. Why can't it be both? Okay. Onward we go. And the combat shall complete. begin soon. Ooh. We have encountered another abandoned gateway. This time in the Wanabis system. Unlike the previous one, this gateway has not been altered in any way obvious. And our scans indicate that it is still connected to the rest of the network. However, it is currently inoperable due to its poor condition. Well... That's something we can deal with eventually. Up is down. Hmm. As the ISS Trailblazer passed through the asteroid belt on its way to CR9947, Science Officer Gaston Pellissier reported that the ship experienced a number of sudden gravitational shifts. Ever curious, Gaston Pellissier dispatched a number of probes to scan the debris field to discern the cause. It turns out that the culprit is a number of gravity generators of old alien make. Sputtering on dying energy sources and with their polarities inverted, they occasionally spew reverse gravity into the void, though not with enough force to cause any serious harm. Not anymore. Science officer Gaston Pellissier theorizes that the generators once provided artificial gravity for a large asteroid on the belt. On the belt but some malfunction eventually tore the rock apart. A disturbing thought. And they're going to take out these space amoebas rather easily. Oh, they lost one. Lost two Corvettes. Construction complete. All right. You did it. They did it. Okay, they shall head back. And construction ships. Good. Good, good, good. You did the good thing. Now you shall move here. And I shall deal with doing that shit later. And you shall do the mining here. And mining in the research there. Rather. And... They're going to head back while... Up Farvis is a little, uh, <laughs> Up Farvis. That's a hell of a fucking name for a system. Uh, Up Pure Farvis. Okay, that's even worse of a name. Uh, Fritz Brinkman will finish up there. And then... Work on, uh, this research here. Right after. Alrighty. So far, so good. I think. System reconnaissance completed. They have a lot left to go in the system. Holy shit. Alright, well. Let's make them do that. Move to here. Oh. A natural wormhole. We have detected what appears to be a naturally occurring subspace phenomenon on the edge of the Borsham system. A rift in the very fabric of space-time has formed here, creating a wormhole that, our scientists speculate, 
may provide a conduit through subspace to another wormhole located somewhere else in our galaxy. Depending on where the second wormhole is located, this could potentially allow ships to travel from one end of the galaxy to the other in a matter of days. Unfortunately, this wormhole, like the vast majority of its kind, is inherently unstable. Any vessels foolish enough to pass through it would be ripped apart in seconds, if it could somehow be stabilized. Actually, you know what? Let me make sure. There we go. That, and then survey, and then we move through this. There we go. Good. Good, 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 good. There. Perfect. We'll stop there for Anomaly now. found. Ooh. While scanning the asteroid belt, our science team found some sort of irregularity. We let them investigate that. Why not? All right. I should probably also allow time to move forward. Construction complete. Oh, was it? Construction complete. Oh, was it? Mining stations and research station, and then you can do a research station there. And we might go for this one after. Maybe. Maybe. Still an open-ended question. And for you, you're done with that. So, you shall claim that. And should be good. Actually, right after they're done with that, I'll have them go back to a spaceport. And actually, I should start making uh, star bases, like, very soon. Very, very soon, actually. Because <laughs> it is getting a uh, little light in that department right now. Um, hmm. Where should I start, though? That's a good question. But uh, I just noticed the time, so that question shall be answered at another time. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat. Playing games and trying to expand our empire and finding some massively cool things like this L gate here. And other gateways over here and a whole bunch of other stuff that uh, eventually we'll be able to explore thoroughly. Uh, but for right now we just don't have the tech. So... That'll come eventually for you.